Alright, man. This is the first episode. I've yet to watch. Comic Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. This is Iggy Pie. She likes to party. Oh my god, are you a brony? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, Who's that? Oh my god. The girls that I really do like just want to be friends. I'm kind of like nervous. Kind of real, kind of real, always real. I'll actually always real. Hey, you and me both, Alex. Me, you and me both. around you right now. What comics are you reading? I have a lady boner from Winter Soldiers. What the fuck? If you know, know me. Geek Love's my favorite show right now, man. It's my favorite show. I don't think anything can get better than Geek Love, man. Oh, that's a good at Luffy. Mm, greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to our universe. This nigga's a grown man doing this shit, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Recon. <laughs> when you're at Comic Con, the, the people in this world are different, and it's oh, shows. Black America. Did I just call this nigga Black America? I meant Captain America. Shit, we calling him Black American now. Nerds rule. That goofy. I love my goofy. I think. Chat. Did I tell you how? Ooh, 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 ooh. So, so boom, so boom, boom, boom. Look, 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 look. Then we get to the song. I mean, then we'll get to the video. Bro, did I tell you how I put, um, I remember this song. I put this song on my notes. You know, like on Instagram notes, you can put the song. I put this song. This tradition is our mission. Number one, there's so much to do. That's all you need. And someone was like, I didn't know you were such a geek. I, I guess she thought I was a thug. Do I look like a thug? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know what to put on. I know what to put on. What's, what's the song called? We on our OTF shit, you heard? Low key wanna get you out the way. They say you're chief out here. Niggas Do I look like a thug? Details, cause they be scared. They be scared. Is that thug like? I don't have a shiesty and a shiesty won't fit. Wow. Do I feel like, am I a thug now? Am I a thug? No? Alright. Alright. It's really important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love just like it's important for everybody else. Geeks are sexy because they're just sexy. This is 18 and over so I can say it. Brush your teeth, lady. Please brush your teeth. Yes, they can put Ugh. a lot of Ugh. imagination into the bedroom. Toothpaste and a toothbrush don't cost that much at a dollar store, bruh. Three, two, one, on to the next date. Sci-fi speed dating at Comic Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. I love this show. Over 18? Bro. I really 13. do. You're 13. Yes. Inches. It's a no. <laughs> Around. I don't love this show. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Bro, what the? What? Uh, maybe around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Looking for guys or girls? Oh, girls, definitely. Okay. You know Hi, I'm Alex. I am 25, and I am a giant geek. All the art I usually get at Comic Con, it's all up on the walls here. Every kind of trip to Comic Con, I usually Not get. Knock on cap. That is tough. This is tough. This is a tough ass. I'm 25 walk. and I am a giant geek. Y'all see the Marvel back there. This is a tough ass. Walk. I like this picture. Eh, it's kind of scary. It looks AI. I know it's not. Kind of bad. This is actually a tough ass wall. Like, no bullshit. All the art I usually get at Comic Con, it's all up on the walls here. Every kind of trip to Comic Con, I usually get a lot of po art. My love life status is a oh, mix dang. of Forever Alone and Socially Awkward Penguin. Me too, gang. Me too, gang. It's meme tastic. You know, characters that I love, you know. Me and Alex might be alike, man. Because she's a redhead. I actually like his wall. Like, after everybody I've seen, definitely that weird nigga with the Mickeys in the back. He might be the coolest. His shit might be the coolest. Like, no bullshit. I love redheads. Big fan of them. One of my favorites is uh, this piece here. Never mind. I don't... Never, never mind. His wall isn't tough. 
nigga like redhead, so he's gonna get a bunch of cartoon redheads on his wall. Okay, all right. Just all redheads. <laughs> I'm a renaissance geek. I like comics. I like board games. I love Doctor Who. Oh, and uh, so I'm also do. brony. So what a brony is is someone who watches My Little Pony. OK, this is uh, Pinkie Pie. She likes to party. Nothing wrong with watching so, My Little uh, Pony. So this is Applejack here. Uh, she's, she owns a farm in the show. And uh, I like her. She's sort of the no-nonsense, hardworking one. Every Thursday, you like what I go you to like. board game night in Brooklyn. Oh, uh, Chad, you know what I just learned on some geek shit? Well, this summer, there's a game called Magic Gathering. Never heard of it until my coworker brought it up. Uh, the concept doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound so, bad. So, you're going to all see that you have a certain amount of quarters and uh, tubes that are required. Yeah. So, take those amount. My favorite thing about board games is how it, it can bring people together. What kind of girl do you want to meet when you go to con? Like, uh, I mean, there's many types of nerds. So Someone, yeah. What, what um, type of nerd would you like? No, seriously, though. Like, what type of girl would you it actually like to friends. meet there? Uh, yeah, I guess. We just friends, though. We just friends, though. You, but not crazy and hyper? So you essentially want my... He low-key, he want her. That's what basically what he said. Like, no, seriously, though. Like, what type of girl would you optimally like to meet there? Yeah, I guess you, but not crazy and hyper. He want that girl. He wants her. He wants her without saying he want her. That's why y'all just friends, though. That's literally why. So you essentially want my non-evil twin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. That's a little creepy, Alex. <laughs> Some of my challenges with girls are just the girls that I really do like, that I'm really interested in. I just want to be friends. Real, real, real. Hey, 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 hey. Real, nigga. Real. Hey, me, me and you both, nigga. Me and you both, nigga. What kind of questions are you gonna ask? Who's your favorite pony? <laughs> oh my God, are you a brony? <laughs> Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my God. I've never you know heard of that. You that's up there with MMOers, right? No. Massive multiplayer online gamers. That's not... What's wrong with MMOers? It's a bunch of MMOers. Wait, a lot. It's a lot of MMOers, actually. Yes, yes it is. I'm referencing. So, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm sitting here and I'm cosplaying as Neil Gaiman's death, okay? <laughs> so you would come up to me. Some of my challenges with girls are just talking to some of them. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm Carolyn. Nice to meet you, Carolyn. Nice to meet you, too. So, I, I guess you're into Neil Gaiman, but the, uh, I do. I yeah. like him a lot. I really like all of his comics. What kind of comics do you like? Uh, I'm, Good role I'm kind of comics. What else are you into? I like ponies. That's cool. I like My Little Pony, too. <laughs> That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? That, hopefully, that was, you know, I meet someone good, there clean. that I really do I'm like, clean. that I'm really interested in. You know, hopefully it's not some half-hearted thing, you know, that it's like, oh, no, actually, I really do like her. Hopefully she likes me, too. Because then it's just, there's no point. You don't want to ask cult. Does he know his beard just doesn't connect right here? Ugh. Ugh. He had to do this on purpose, right? Talking then. Don't. It might be an Irish thing. Never mind. Do it. Don't you do it. What's great about geek love is you could be yourself. Yo, you them. can be yourself. I think it's really important for geeks and nerds I love to geek find love, love just like it's No matter how, ma how many times, how many times I joke about these people, it's all jokes, nigga. Please don't take it seriously. No, him, he can take it seriously. That nigga's weird. Nigga talking about, I got all these girls and I ain't drug them yet. What the hell? But all this is jokes. I love this show. If I didn't love the show, I wouldn't be watching it. Important for everybody else. Nobody really wants to be alone. Here come the potential men. What I hope comes out of this is a date. Any date. I think any date, maybe. Guys, leave all your bags and stuff over there by that table, under the table. I definitely uh, like someone who has red hair, has a unique different. face. You know, someone who doesn't look like everyone else, maybe. Move on in. OK, guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sci-Fi Speed Dating. Ladies, do not use this as an exercise to perfect your friend zoning technique. <laughs> The friend zone. I know sucks. his his ass got hurt. And escaping. It the do, it do, it do, it do. We just friends do. Friend zone is like threading a needle while jumping on a pogo stick 
evading sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. Dates are three minutes long. Every three minutes, get up and rotate. Ladies, please have a seat. It would be great if I could find the perfect match, someone I like, someone who likes me, maybe. But I'm, I'm open to see what's gonna happen. All right, three, two, speed date. So, uh, how long have you been? So, how have you enjoying Comic Con so far? What? How are you enjoying Comic Con so far? I'm stumbled. She's at stumbled. It's tough at first, you know, it's like. <laughs> Bro. Comic Con so far. I like it. It's tough at first, you know, it's like. His shit really do disconnect, though. Like, what the hell? This guy, this shit probably connect. Blah, blah, blah. His shit probably dis. His shit probably connect by Bluetooth, bruh. I ain't gonna cap. This is nasty. This is not, this is not drip. This is not pee. This is not demure. Demure. This is not cutesy. This is not mor moral. I forgot what they be saying. But this ain't it, bruh. This ain't it. This shit is. This, this is nasty. <laughs> Hi. So, I'm wearing a Russian shirt, so I'm kind of like nervous sitting around you right now. I'm not gonna die, don't worry. I hope you don't either. Yeah, cool. no, I hope not. Alex is a very classical style. Bro, what is up with his beard, bro? This shit is disconnected like a mug. Not very demure, not very cutesy. This shit, yo. They got beef. Them two got beef. It, it just, they just got beef, bro. Geek. He knows what he is, and he's proud of it. So, what are you into? I am into everything. Nice. Uh, comic, video games. Board games? I will play board games. Cool. <laughs> I'm loosening up. You know, it's like I'm just sort of trying to take it as I go. I work in the health education field. OK. Health ed teacher, putting condoms on bananas, things like that. It's always fun. It always, you know, shocks people when you pull the banana out, but hey. <laughs> uh, what's the weirdest museum you've been to? The sex museum. They make those? What the hell? What the hell? Her fandom doesn't have to match mine, but it, you know, it wouldn't hurt if we matched a little. You go right, I gotta love ad beard. <laughs> uh. I gotta do this on my own. Ad beard. I miss them ad comments, bruh. The ad, the ad dreads. Ad beard. This but shit. I love the Kirby shirt. Thank you. Oh, the Kirby shirt's up. Nothing like a little innocent, dirty humor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm inside. Ooh. I like that she had a, uh, you know, you know, sexually funny Kirby shirt on. Uh, but I want you inside, maybe. Uh, video games? Yeah. Have you played Journey on PS3? I love it. Oh Journey's my gosh. Awesome. Cool. I Someone love else. it. So he seemed really interested in what okay. I do. Okay. Okay. Um, and and he was really nice. It was very fun Cook. talking with her. You know. Cook session. I felt very comfortable with her. Oh, it was really nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Idris. Oh, you know who I am. Of course. Hey, let me like make some Grumpy notes on like. Yeah. 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 What comics are you reading? I have a lady boner for Winter Soldiers. Is it the bionic arm that does it, or? No, 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 no. His, his assholery attitude. Does okay. It. What? The bad boy attitude. Yes. Got it. That's sort of a. That's like catnip for women, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's going great. Uh, you know, so far some of the girls are great. So what are you into? Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman is my all-time favorite. Love me. Great costume though. How long did it take Thank you? you? He was a huge fan of Batman. What is this? My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. All time favorite. Love being. Who's that? Characters. Great costume though. How long did it take you? you? He was a huge fan of Batman and Harley, so that always gets me going. Quiet, please, and sit down. Yes, it was three minutes. I know you're not used to going that long, but it's okay. You've been keeping track of the people you liked on your scorecards, yes? When I'm done talking, you're going to find the pieces of paper that correlate to the people that you liked. If you liked number five, you'll find number five's page. It'll say number five on it. If you didn't like somebody, don't write anything down. Okay, fair warning. Some of you are going to get no numbers. It happens. I Come apologize on, Alex. in advance. Come on, Alex. Just Come means on, it wasn't Alex. session for you. All right, write your stuff down. Go. 
Uh, it's really hard to pick. I like so many of them. I like the girl with the uh, Kirby shirt. I like the girl in the uh, Star Trek cute, too. I also like the one that was dressed up as Harley. Who knows, though? The ones Harley, I like are Harley's the ones that everyone likes, of course. Bad. So I'm gonna go put my name and number down and see what happens. Gentlemen, sit still, look pretty, puff out your chest. All right, ladies, this is what we call the perfect match. This is a chance for you guys and gals to get three minutes with somebody that liked you, that you liked back, okay? It's hard to know if I've left an impression on the ones that I'd like, you know, it's sort of, so it's a tough thing. On, Ladies, on, do you have on, your Alex. perfect match in sight? Come on, Harley. Okay, track in on their hormonal signals. What? You need to run to him as fast as possible right now, go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. If you do not have a perfect match, it's okay. Come on. Quickly, quickly. Hey. Yeah! Yeah! Out, so probably, you know. okay. Yeah! I was actually surprised it was, you know, someone who I actually liked. So she had red hair, which is cool. You guys beat the odds. You had a perfect match. Congratulations. That's really something cool in this thing right here. Take this time, talk to these people, maybe set up some time to hang out this weekend. How old are you as well? I'm 25. I'm 24. 25, nice, good. There's like one 32-year-old that still lives with his mom. I was like, mm. no. I kind of live with my folks still. Yeah, you know? but I, I don't know. I it's feel like, like in the college. 20s, it's OK. Because yeah, no. especially the economy sucks. So uh, you want to meet up sometime after this? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but I've got a little bit of time right now if you want to yeah, keep we chatting. Can, I, could, mm, I like her, bro. I like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. Look around, uh, you know. Yeah. Got, See my boy Alex Wright. Well. Okay. Tell, them, tell this nigga to shave this shit off, bro. You go right, I go left. Ah, beard, bro. Cool, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's like. You can do it yourself, of course, but you, but, you know, if you want to, yeah, you want to right. I go love. You sure? I don't know. I, I'm hopeful. I, I like her, and I, you know, she kind of picked me, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Okay. No. So, no. Yeah. What happened after speed dating was that. After talking to Kate, basically on camera, uh, cameras were off, and we walked away, and what happened was that basically, uh, she told me after about a minute, basically that she just wanted to be friends. So basically- No! Kind of, uh... No! We just friends, though. No! Bro, I feel bad for Alex, man. And they can't get out the friend zone. About a minute. Basically, that she just wanted to be friends. So basically, kind of, uh, nothing ever happened, of course. I understand. But hey. it was kind of depressing. You know, it's me, I guess. That's, that's my life. Getting to here, I just want to be friends all the time. Damn. That part of the day was uh, pretty bad, but the rest of the con was great. I got to meet basically uh, Bill Willingham, from, who did who writes for Fables. It was That's awesome. Dope. He signed it to me. Sent this awesome piece of art that was free. You know, I, I got a lot of art. He got some clean ass posters on his wall, bro. I'm I'm happy about that. But uh, any changes I want to make in my love life? If anyone of you uh, watching like what they see, contact me at this email here. <sighs> okay. Bye. Damn, bro. I feel bad for Alex. He shaved in the exact place he should have grown his beard. I'm saying, bro. Damn, bro. I'm genuinely curious how to bring him. That's what I'm saying. That makes zero sense. This is saying how people don't learn based on hygiene and social skills. Damn, bro. That was sad, bro.